the Dr. Marilyn Trenum Council Literacy Awards were originally the Lieutenant Governor's Literacy Awards, and they were established by Dr. Trenum Council in 1998, during her term as Lieutenant Governor of New Brunswick. Since 2008, the Literacy Coalition has been honored to continue the tradition of presenting these awards annually. Before we begin our ceremony, I would like to invite Minister Dominic Cardi to bring greetings on behalf of the province. Thank you so much for the chance to be with you all this evening. Hope you can hear me okay. And uh, it's a real pleasure to be here to celebrate New Brunswick champions in the field of literacy, uh, an area that has always been very close to my heart. I've always thought that it's really very difficult to be a full citizen in a democracy unless you have the ability to read and write. So before we get, uh, get started, I'd like to really thank the Literacy Coalition of New Brunswick for hosting the awards this evening and uh, try to make my remarks in both our province's official languages tonight. So, en temps normal, il faut investir une somme considérable de travail pour planifier ce genre d'activité. Et c'est encore plus vrai dans la situation actuelle que nous vivons, que, qui est certes loin d'être normal. And so, of course, while COVID-19 is continuing to have an impact on how we live our lives every day, especially now with our three big cities all in regions that have all gone into the orange phase, none of that has changed the fact there's a lot of outstanding work happening across the province, and that work deserves to be recognized and celebrated as it is going to be here tonight. And the fact that so many people are participating online, I think, is a, a great sign of the interest uh, and the recognition as well as we go through this pandemic of the importance of education and of literacy as we move to come out the other side of this. So we're here tonight to celebrate the excellent work being done in New Brunswick to encourage literacy and instill a love of learning and of reading. So to the nominees and to all the recipients, I want to offer my most uh, sincere congratulations on behalf of the province. Et en donnant aux gens de Nouveau-Brunswick accès de la formation à des réseaux et, et à des autres programmes, vous contribuez à aider les apprenantes et les apprenants et les travailleurs à acquérir les compétences utiles et à exceller. Et bravo pour le beau travail que vous avez accompli. Vous avez toutes les raisons d'être fiers de vous. So I keep on saying this, but I think it does bear repeating that education is the key for setting our children and our society up for success. Education is one of your government's top priorities and our vision is to ensure that every child has access to a world-class education founded on learning here at home in New Brunswick. And the key element of that world-class education has to involve a focus on literacy. It's a foundational skill, an essential skill, and it's absolutely necessary for our students to be able to be competitive in a world that when we come out to the other side of the COVID-19 pandemic is going to be quite radically changed from what went before. And while it's very difficult for any policymaker or politician or pundit to have any real sense of what the world is going to look like in two or three years from now, one thing I'm certain, we are going to continue to require a literate and educated population. Literacy is the key, obviously, to reading. Reading is the key to having access to documents and understanding them. Those are the, the foundations for critical thinking skills. And it is only if we strengthen critical thinking skills that we're going to be able to push back against the avalanche of misinformation, disinformation, and propaganda that is unfortunately increasing, infecting our world in a way that I believe ultimately will be as dangerous as the coronavirus 19 has been. And we know that when we talk about literacy in New Brunswick, it's not an area we've always excelled. And we know that in many cases, our students have continued to lag behind those in other parts of Canada. And so we have got to continue to strive to drive our literacy rates ever further upwards. If we do anything else as a province, and if I'm able to accomplish anything else as a Minister of Education, it'll be to see those numbers move. But that's not gonna be something I achieve alone. It'll only be with the participation and support of not just people in the education sector, but folks like all of you who put your time and your heart and your passion into working to ignite that love of literacy and of learning and of reading in children across our province. Et alors, cependant, le gouvernement ne peut pas y arriver à lui seul. C'est d'abord la maison et dans la communauté qu'il faut stimuler l'envie et un réel intérêt pour la lecture et l'apprentissage. L'atteinte des objectifs en littératie exige donc une collaboration fructueuse de tous les intervenants concernés et c'est justement sur ce plan que votre rôle et votre contribution sont tellement utiles. So through all of your work, you remind us that while reading and learning are essential, they also provide us with opportunities to experience joy and connection with one another. 
And that's particularly significant as we continue to navigate through a period where joy and connection can at times feel as if they're in pretty short supply. So merci pour vos, vos efforts et votre excellent travail. Merci pour, pour votre engagement, votre enthousiasme et votre dévouement. Les contributions apportées par chacun d'entre vous nous aident tous et toutes à réussir. Je tiens à vous exprimer ma gratitude et sachez que nous sommes très reconnaissants pour tout le travail que vous faites. So thank you all for joining again this for this special evening. It certainly does look a bit different than usual, but I think we're all getting used to communicating through, uh, through screens rather than in person. And my last uh, uh, request, not directly on the subject of this evening, but I know these times are hard for everyone. And we've got a hundred or so days until hopefully a vaccine will be available to people in New Brunswick, at least start a hundred or so days to follow the advice of public health and continue to keep us in a world leading position where we've been for the last few months. And if we can lead the world in the response to a virus that no one had heard of and didn't exist this time a year ago, let's try and take that inspiration and that example out of this pandemic and let's become a leader in literacy and make our province proud. Thanks so much, merci à vous tous et tous. J'ai hâte d'écouter le reste de la cérémonie. Félicitations encore. Thank you, Minister Cardi, for your inspiring remarks and for your presence here this evening. We really appreciate your strong leadership in helping to keep us safe and supporting our school system and navigating these challenging times. Thank you very much. We're also delighted to have Dr. Marilyn Trendham Council with us tonight. And I will now ask her to bring greetings. Thank you, Linda. I hope you can hear me. Yes. <laughs> this is my first time on Zoom, Zoom so I'm a little uh, nervous. It's, it's great. For, I'm 87 now, so it's, it, this is a great experience. So good evening, everyone, and uh, thank you all for participating, especially I want to thank Minister Carney for his inspiring words and his dedication not only to uh, education, but specifically to literacy. And I, I know that his words were heartfelt and grand merci, Minister. J'apprécie votre dévouement, toujours. Linda I, 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 and Brent and other members of the board of the Literacy Coalition, I want to thank you from my heart and grand merci for continuing these awards. It is very, very special. I didn't know in 1998 that this might happen, but I, I want to mention tonight a dear soul that um, I have to thank for inspiring the, the Literacy Coalition to continue them, and that is Marion Zakowski. I want to say that Marion and our dear Shirley Downey, both of whom have left us, were my soulmates on this journey. And um, we all remember them with great love and, and with great appreciation. But to the Literacy Coalition, it's, it seems to get better every year. Thank you, Linda. You are just a marvelous executive director. You're so much more, you're a friend to me. Thank you, Brent and Greg and all the members of the executive and the board. Um, I, I'm truly, truly touched that this has happened. When I look back to 1998, you know, that first ceremony, it was in the legislature. Our guest speaker was Dr. Fraser Mustard. And um, it was a beautiful evening and I can remember it so well. The chairperson of the selection committee for the awards that year was Deanne Lord. And uh, there's just so many memories. Since 1998, I think that we've given the award to about 100 people. Maybe one day we can count them. <laughs> but um, the, the people who have um, shown the same kind of passion and dedication and um, hard work that each of our winners is tonight. They were people from uh, individuals, from businesses, from community groups, from libraries, and from other groups. And you know, it, it pleased me immensely when I think it was two years ago, we added the Indigenous category. So that each year now there is a special award for uh, outstanding work amongst our Indigenous youth and adults in the, in the field of literacy. Tonight, we have an equally impressive and excellent group of, of winners. Um, I'm so delighted and, and proud of each of you, your dedication and your passion, your imagination, your talent, certainly in writing and in producing, imagining projects. And you know, one of our recipients 
is on Twitter. <laughs> I'm going to tell you a little joke. I used to think that, you know, I sort of got introduced to the idea of Twitter because everyone was saying, oh, Donald Trump, the president of the United States is <laughs> using Twitter in the middle of the night. But I have found, thank goodness, that it is so much more. And I enjoy it. And to think that one of you, uh, the Shelfy group, I think that's pronouncing it right, is using Twitter to do wonderful things. I don't know whether it's every day, but it's certainly every week that you uh, post something and uh, congratulations. But to each of you, whether you're doing it on social media or whether you're doing it with longhand or most certainly whether you're doing it in person, it is greatly appreciated. So I'm looking forward, of course, to hearing from each of you as a ton individual. I ask all of you to enjoy, and I know you will enjoy this very special celebration. Um, and I ask you always to remember the words that I have used, I guess a thousand times, the joy, the power, and the comfort of reading. La joie, la force, et le confort de lire. Un grand merci, tous et toutes, et bonne soirée. Marilyn, thank you so much for your wonderful words and your inspiration. Well, we're ready now to proceed and to give you an idea of how our ceremonies will go. First, we'll have a brief introduction of each award recipient. Then each recipient will have an opportunity to say a few words and we'll ask them to hold up their certificate and their engraved pewter bowl so we can all see. And we'll take a screenshot. So let's begin. Our first category is early childhood literacy. Talk with me, Paul Moi, is the only free community based speech language pathology services in New Brunswick. Le programme, uh, de, uh, le programme vient de fêter ses 15 ans d'existence au Nouveau Brunswick et vient de compléter un processus d'examen qui a permis de renforcer son mandat. Through its recent review, it has established a model of intervention, identified strategic partnerships, and modernized its core programs and logo. Par moi, talk with me, renforce le développement précoce du langage de la communication de tous les jeunes enfants à travers le Nouveau-Brunswick. Although it is fully government funded, the program is community based and works tirelessly and in partnership with family resource centers, family and early childhood agencies, libraries, and health. Its goal is to strengthen early language and communication development of all young children in New Brunswick in both official languages. Pour citer l'un de ses partenaires communautaires, Merci d'être là pour nous. Thank you for being there. Nous souhaitons maintenant la bienvenue à José Castonguay, qui acceptera le prix pour l'alphabétisation de la petite enfance pour par moi. José. Bonsoir tout le monde. Hi everyone. C'est avec un grand plaisir que j'accepte ce prix au nom de la merveilleuse équipe du programme Parle-moi. Je constate que depuis sa création en 2002, Parle-moi a fait preuve de leadership dans le domaine de la, de la littératie. Étant un programme communautaire, Parle-moi a su s'adapter et évoluer pour répondre au fil du temps aux besoins uniques des communautés, des partenaires et des familles. Entre autres, Parle-moi est heureux d'avoir pu contribuer à l'élaboration du cadre de référence de la littératie à la petite enfance du Nouveau-Brunswick. Et au cours des trois dernières années, comme Mme Homer le mentionnait, le programme Parle-moi a subi une révision complète de son mandat, fondé sur les pratiques exemplaires qui répondaient le mieux aux besoins des familles et des communautés du Nouveau-Brunswick. Le nouveau modèle qui en a découlé est unique en son genre, car il offre des services universels sur le langage et la littératie à toutes les familles euh, qui ont des enfants âgés de 0 à 5 ans. Mais en plus, il se sert de l'expertise des orthophonistes pour optimiser les services, les services qui sont offerts aux parents et aux enfants qui ont des besoins plus grands 
et aussi pour outiller ses précieux partenaires à la petite enfance. C'est certainement un privilège pour moi, mais aussi pour mes collègues, de voir tous les jours un enfant s'émerveiller devant un livre ou une chanson, ou encore de voir les larmes d'un parent qui entend son enfant prononcer un nouveau mot. Donc, chaque membre de l'équipe contribue à promouvoir l'importance du développement du langage et de la littératie à tous les jours, et nous en sommes très fiers. Donc, de la part de l'équipe de Parle-moi des trois districts scolaires francophones euh, du Nouveau-Brunswick, qui comprend les adjointes administratives, les assistantes en orthophonie, les orthophonistes, les directrices, les consultantes au ministère, je désire remercier ceux qui ont soumis notre candidature et bien sûr remercier la coalition qui euh, reconnaît notre travail et nous attribue ce prix ce soir. Donc, merci beaucoup et bonne soirée. Et merci, José. And I now invite Laura Garland to accept the award on behalf of Talk With Me. Hi, and good evening and thank you. I'm honored to be accepting this award on behalf of Talk With Me and our phenomenal team. Since its inception in 2002, Talk With Me has championed literacy. As a community-based organization, Talk With Me has evolved and adapted to meet the unique needs of the communities, partners, and families from across the province that we have the privilege of serving. Over the past three years, Talk With Me has undergone a redesign focused on ensuring best practices while still meeting the needs of our communities. The new model is unique to New Brunswick in that it offers universal services for all families while exploiting the expertise of SLPs to support families with greater needs. Under this new model, Talk With Me continues to work with a variety of wonderful community organizations to build capacity in our province. My colleagues and I feel fortunate that our jobs afford us the opportunity every day to see children marvel at reading and singing or the joy in the face of a parent when they hear their child say their first word. So from the Talk With Me team, which includes administrative supports, speech assistants, speech language pathologists, directors of early childhood, and provincial consultants. We want to thank the individual who nominated us for this Literacy Award and the Literacy Coalition Awards Committee for recognizing us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Laura. And now our next award category is Outstanding Effort in Indigenous Literacy. Gail Francis has taught in federal and band operated schools for over 25 years. She has two master's degrees, one in adult education and the other in curriculum instruction design. She was part of the Provincial Language Committee for a number of years, where she helped to develop curriculum and review culturally relevant books for the Provincial Library. She presently works for Three Nations Education Group as the Autism Resource Specialist, serving the three largest First Nation communities in the province. Gail has recently written and published a culturally based Indigenous book for children through the voice of an adventurous little girl called Moonbeam. She tells the story about how a pre-contact Indigenous family names their child. Gail has recently launched a Mi'kmaq and Wilstakwe version of her book, and a French version with Wilstakwe is underway. A lifelong learner, she plans on completing her PhD and writing more Moonbeam stories to continue the series. It is my pleasure to invite Gail Francis to accept her award for outstanding contribution to Indigenous literacy. Thank you, Linda. Hi, everybody. I'm here at the Book Nook in Miramichi. I thought it would be a great spot and appropriate to do the uh, award ceremony, considering this is where it all started with Moonbeam. I launched the English Moonbeam here in January and followed up with a second launch of Moonbeam in Willistigwe and Mi'kmaq last month. So I'd like to first thank the good Lord for his blessings. <clears throat> I am truly blessed with a great husband, family, and friends. I am grateful for their love, support, 
and encouragement. I thank you all for being here. I would also like to thank Ivan Augustine, one of the education directors of Three Nations Education Group for nominating me for this award. And I would also like to congratulate uh, the other award winners. I'm thrilled and honored to be the recipient of the award for outstanding effort in Indigenous literacy. When I wrote Moonbeam, never did I imagine that it would lead me to receiving this award. This book has led me to some unexpected surprises and this award is one of them. I am proud to be included in with those who have received this award before me. They too have made a contribution to Indigenous literacy and continue to do so. I believe all children should have access to Indigenous literature as it helps to expand their knowledge and gives them an understanding of the First Nation culture from the perspective of Indigenous authors. It also gives Indigenous children an opportunity to read and learn in their own language. It is my hope that Moonbeam is read by all children to enjoy and learn a little bit of my culture. It's a heartwarming story that all children can relate to. Again, a heartfelt thank you for this award. Thank you so much, Gail. Now, our next category is published author. This year's recipient is Armand Doucette, a teacher in Riverview, New Brunswick. Armand is a sought after inspirational speaker, facilitator and columnist who has spoken virtually and face-to-face -face in conferences and workshops on five continents and over 100 countries. Armand has co-written a book that he hopes will help children around the globe open up to their parents about the stresses of living with the COVID-19 pandemic. His book, Hope, Where Are You?, was co-authored by Elisa Guerrera, fellow teacher living in Mexico, and illustrated by her daughter, Anne Rogu, also of Mexico. Although this award is limited to New Brunswick citizens, we want to give an honorable mention to both for their incredible work. Hope, Where Are You? is the story of six children around the world who are experiencing school closures, hmm, that sounds familiar, because of the pandemic. The book has already been translated into more than 35 languages and is available online for free. Proceeds from the book are being donated to UNICEF and Armand and his team of volunteers from around the world are working on a second book release and have set a goal to raise $1 million for the fund. And the book has also inspired a whole movement on Facebook. Armand, it is a pleasure to present you with the 2020 Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Award for Published Author. I welcome you to say a few words to accept your award. Thank you, Linda. Uh, I'm gonna apologize right off the start, just in case one of my three kids comes into the screen, uh, as you saw during Gail's speech, and I apologize, Gail, that they might've interrupted that. Uh, my one-year-old might, might be jumping in at any point. Uh, I'd like to first say congratulations, félicitations à tous les récipients. Uh, I'm truly honored to be part of this group. Uh, Paul and moi, Talk to Me has been used by my kids uh, and my wife and I, so we, we truly appreciate what's been happening. And Gail's completely right. We need more First Nations uh, books so that people can see themselves within the books that they read. Um, so. Part of what we did, Elisa and I, was we were hearing the hope message being on numerous calls around the world. And that, that was something that needed to come through and that kids needed to see themselves and be able to talk about their experiences. So that's where the book came out from. Uh, I'd also like to thank Elisa and Anna Robu for their help during uh, when we were writing this. It was incredibly hard, uh, but we had a lot of fun doing it. And the hundreds of volunteers that actually translated it we're now up to actually 50 languages that have been used around the world and 2 million downloads. It's available on, on phone or on, uh, uh, on a tablet or on a computer. Uh, so we are quite appreciative of that as well. Uh, I'd also like to say thank you to the Literacy Coalition of New Brunswick and Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council for uh, this award. Uh, it's truly an honor to be associated with anything that Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council has done. Uh, so uh, we take it with great pride, uh, Lisa, myself, and Anna, 
And I'd like to thank my family. They're on here and uh, they are truly our biggest backers and supporters. And while we're drafting, redrafting and going a bit crazy, they're the ones that keep us sane. So I'd like to thank them for being here as well. And if you get a chance to download it and take a look at it, would really like your feedback. Thank you so much, Armin. And I, we, uh, we will be loading that down, I'm sure. Our next category is Outstanding Contribution to Literacy in New Brunswick. We have two winners in this category. Dr. Kim Stewart and Jill Davidson are passionate educators and co-hosts of Shelfie Talk, which they created over five years ago with a mission to promote readers for life. Shelfie Talk is an innovative digital learning community on Twitter where Kim and Jill share a wealth of resources and bring educators and authors together to explore ideas and reflections on a wide range of books and other forms of literature. Jill Davidson is an experienced educator and literacy coordinator for 21 middle and high schools across Anglophone West District. She supports teachers in establishing read, to, uh, in establishing reading and writing workshops where students read, write, listen, and speak to learn about themselves and others and to navigate and think critically about and take action in their world. She is also a member of the International Educator, a think tank and educational consulting organization working to innovate the ways educators learn together. Dr. Stewart has extensive experience in the field of education as a teacher, both locally and internationally, and as a school principal, a researcher, curriculum developer, subject coordinator, and most recently, professor in the Faculty of Education with the University of New Brunswick. Both Kim and Jill are passionate about sharing the joy of reading. They are receiving this award, not only for their innovative Shelfie Talk initiative, but also for their exemplary contribution to professional learning for educators in New Brunswick and beyond. It is my pleasure to invite Dr. Kim Stewart and Jill Davidson to accept the Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council Award for Outstanding Contribution to Literacy in New Brunswick. Um, who would like to go first? Uh, Kim, would you Thanks, like Lynn. to go first? Thank you very much. Um, Jill and I are, are, are so honored to receive this award. We're also very humbled to be in the company of other recipients. It's wonderful to meet you and hear your stories. And it's truly amazing what people are able to accomplish. Thank you to the New Brunswick Literacy Coalition and to the Honorable Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council for being deeply invested in literacy in our province. Your literacy initiatives numerous projects and programs echo current literacy research that calls upon multidimensional solutions, honoring the complexity of literacies and people's lives. Jill and I began literacy be because we had a desire. It was actually on a road trip for a, uh, we attended a conference. And we were trying to decide how would we expand professional learning communities. And we, we did this and we decided to, to begin Shelfie Talk because as Linda said, we wanted to connect with educators who shared our passion for reading and for literacy. One of our number one goals was to put hands, or to, to put books, novels and professional resources in the hands of educators because research tells us that the strongest literacy teachers are readers themselves. When we started Shelfie Talk, we told ourselves that if we were able to have about, we thought a hundred educators follow us and join our, join our chats and our discussions that we would be pleased. Do you remember that Jill? Jill? Yes, and Kim, I also remember that um, 
when we did our first chat, eight people joined and we didn't know how we were going to keep up with all that traffic. Um, anyone who knows Kim and I uh, knows that we're passionate about um, creating a culture of learning among literacy educators, uh, because we know that there's a direct positive impact for students when that happens. And we also know that that work starts with us and making our own literacy lives visible. So we created Shelfie Talk as a way to gather a community of educators um, who wanted to read and learn and share together. And we are so fortunate that so many educators from across the district and throughout the province and truly around the world have connected with Shelfie Talk. And we're, we're very thankful that our district, Anglophone West, values Twitter as a platform for professional learning and has so generously supported our work since we started in 2015. And we're lucky that we have colleagues who partner with us on some of our virtual book clubs. Um, and we're deeply and truly grateful to all of the educators in our little corner of the Twitterverse who read and write and share and learn with us and tune in to Twitter at 9 p.m. on Wednesday nights to talk about their reading lives with us. Um, never in our wildest dreams did we imagine there would be over 6,000 Shelfie talkers. Um, so on behalf of Kim, of Kim and I, we are from the bottoms of our hearts. Thank you. Thank you so much, both Jill and Kim. And now our next winner in the category of Outstanding Contribution to Literacy in New Brunswick is Bob Savoy. Bob is a partner and auditor with KPMG in Canada, where he works with clients in manufacturing, construction, service and retail sectors, as well as with a number of not-for-profit organizations. It is well known that he takes a special interest in improving communities through education and literacy and dedicates many of his hours to this cause. Bob has been heavily involved in the Peter Zofsky Invitational Golf Fundraiser and later in our PGI Peter Zofsky Gala Literacy Dinner and Auction fundraising for over 20 years. He has been integral in our efforts to raise funds in support of literacy programs by serving on our PGI organizing committee, recruiting volunteers to staff the events and soliciting auction items. Over the years, Bob has brought everything to our auction from bicycles, paintings, sports items, event tickets, and I recall a prized Jake Allen hockey jersey, which we suspect might have come from his own personal collection. Bob has helped raise over one and a half million dollars in his tenure with PGI for literacy programs, and he is a champion for our cause. It is my pleasure to invite Bob Savoy to accept the Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council Award for outstanding contribution to literacy in New Brunswick. Thank you very much, Linda. Um, it's, I, I kind of feel like a fish out of water being the business guy and amongst all these educators. Um, I'm very impressed with the passion that I've seen here uh, tonight. And um, I, will, I will say that this is a tremendous honor for me. Um, it's an honor to receive the award, but uh, it's even more special that it has the name Dr. Marilyn Trenum Council on it. Uh, Marilyn has always been an inspiration to me and, and all the conversations through the years and encouragement uh, that she's given me has been, uh, has been really appreciated. Um, I have been very fortunate to work with many great people in, in the PGI and throughout the uh, literacy uh, um, organization. Um, I'd like to take the, the time to thank everybody, but there's two reasons I can't do that. One is I would be here most of the night. And the second reason is my memory is just not that good anymore. Um, I do want to say that uh, 
when I was involved in the very first year of the PGI and I heard um, the adult learner story that night, it was over. I was hooked. Um, uh, I just, I just couldn't imagine a more worthy cause than trying to help people um, become literate and benefit from the hours of reading that, you know, um, I would have throughout my, uh, throughout my life. I will tell you, I'm sitting in a, in a house that probably has uh, 10 uh, bookcases. I'd like to say they're mine, but my wife and daughter are both passionate readers and seeing the enjoyment that they get out of reading and thinking if you could just bring that to a few more people um, makes everything very, very worthwhile. Um, I, you know, I, I, you know, the, the, those stories really um, are what, what drove me through the years. And, and I've, and I, and I have to say that education and literacy has always been, been a passion of mine because I know what it's done for my life. So I can only understand uh, what it could do for other people's life if they had the basics. Given this past few months and having seen every single way that we do business change overnight, I can't imagine not having the ability to have meetings like we're having here tonight um, and what it means to people to be able to get together and um, still be able to connect in a way. And I will tell you that I work with a lot of young people and many who come from other provinces and they were many of them isolated because they couldn't see their parents couldn't see their friends from other cities and I don't know what we would have done if we wouldn't have the ability to do the things that we can do now and all of that can't be done unless you have literacy and it's just so it's just so important you know it, uh, winning an award like this, sometimes uh, I think it's me that should be giving an award back to, to the Literacy Council for everything that they've allowed me to be involved with. And I, and I got to tell you, it's been, it has been a very, um, a very um, rewarding experience for me. And, I, you know, I'd like to thank Linda and, and, and Marilyn, of course. But there's other people, Jan Carinci and Michelle Carinci are the ones that originally got me involved with this. And there's a guy who has been at every single event that I've been at, and that is Marshall Button. And I will tell you, I can't say enough how much he's brought to enjoyment, to the, uh, to the good that we were doing. So it's, um, it's important. It's important to have passion about things, but it's also important to do things that you truly believe in and you have to have a little fun doing it. I know that sounds funny coming from an accountant, but I tell you, you have to have a little fun doing it. Last but certainly not least, I need to thank my employer, uh, KPMG. And I will tell you that not only does KPMG get behind us when we get into the community, but they get behind us financially. They get behind us by allowing me to bring staff with me and to volunteer and through the years and through the PGI, all the PGI events, we had many, many KPMG volunteers there. And I cannot tell you the impact it had on a lot of those young people because a lot of them are just out of university, um, all the way up to older people like myself and the fun that they have and how they represent the firm and I got to tell you, I am so proud of those people and what they've done. And my employer supports that 100%. So for that, I've got to say thank you uh, to them. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I'd be remiss if I, if I didn't say to all of the rest of you, congratulations on your award. Um, all very well deserved. And um, I think we need to keep, we keep, we need to keep doing this. And we need to bring our literacy rates up to the highest. And that's got to be what our goal is. So thank you very much. Um, it's an honor to be here tonight. Thank you so much, Bob, for that really moving speech and memory lane. And thank you, everyone, uh, for a really wonderful remarks and profound reminder about the importance of our literacy and 
of coming together to celebrate all that's been accomplished. So marvelous. Uh, Bob, can you show us your uh, certificate? And I don't think anyone else showed theirs. So let's have a look. And someone will do a screenshot. I don't know. You got to put your face out there, Bob. <laughs> Not enough room. <laughs> okay, we'll give that a whirl. Thank you very much. You got muted, Bob. <laughs> I have a little surprise now. Uh, we have a special video because some uh, special people had messages for our award recipients. So I'm going to ask Peter to roll it. Good evening, everyone. It's our pleasure to be here this evening virtually in order to recognize Jill Davidson, our Literacy Subject Coordinator, as a recipient of the Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council Literacy Award in the category of Outstanding Contributions to Literacy in New Brunswick. Congratulations, Jill, on receiving this prestigious award. You are a valued educator of Anglophone West School District. Your enthusiasm, your dedication to the field of literacy has earned you great respect. Thank you both, Jill and Kim, for Shelfie Talk and congratulations, Jill. We are very proud of you. Congratulations, Jill. You've been a long-standing leader in the area of literacy in our school district for more than 25 years. We're very appreciative of the work that you do here in Anglophone West and in the schools and districts before ASDW. Thank you very much for all you do. We congratulate you and Kim, who was once with us here at Anglophone West in the past on this great accomplishment. Hello, my name is Sherry Rose from the Faculty of Education, UNB. It is my pleasure to congratulate Dr. Kim Stewart on receiving the 2020 Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council Literacy Award for Outstanding Contribution to Literacy in New Brunswick, Canada, and internationally. Kim, your commitment to the literate lives of children and adults is evident in your partnership with Jill Davidson and your co-curation of Shelfie Talk. This innovative digital learning and community provides an abundance of literacy resources while bringing educators and authors together in conversation with specific texts. In addition to Shelfie Talk, over the last 35 years, you have consistently appreciated and respected the literate lives of every learner. You understand that literacy learning is a complex life journey where our individual journeys are shaped by the physical places and the material conditions of our childhoods. In recognition of childhood diversities, you continue to champion, share, and distribute fiction and nonfiction picture books, novels, professional texts, poetry books, and graphic novels, ensuring that a wide range of life experiences and literate practices are represented in our reading diets. Whether online or face-to-face, -face, your literacy leadership has always been grounded in the responsibility that the way we as educators see and respond to the literate practices of individuals matters. You cultivate learning communities where educators in childcare, homes, schools, universities, community colleges, and community programs are invited to read, write, create, and critically reflect on how the texts we share and the literate practices we value and teach impact individual learners. You remind us to cultivate the reader, writer, illustrator, maker within each of us so that we will be better equipped to inspire and support others. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for your deep commitment to literacy in New Brunswick, and I look forward to working with you for many years to come. Congratulations, Kim. Hello, everyone. Bonjour, bonsoir tout le monde. Je m'appelle Marshall. I'm Marshall Button, uh, for those of you who I haven't met yet. <laughs> But uh, my purpose here today is to uh, congratulate my friend Bob Savoie for this award that he uh, merits so well. I know I'm someone who has been in front of the scenes as the longtime master of ceremonies for the PGIs in New Brunswick. 
Uh, but the, someone like myself always knows the real power and brains and what makes things really work are the hard workers behind the scenes. And even though he has been behind, he's front and center in all our minds. And we congratulate Bob. Uh, you know, we've raised well over a million dollars uh, when you add all the years together. And uh, this doesn't happen by accident. It's because of Bob. Congratulations from all of us who've ever thought about literacy and the great cause that it is and who've ever worked with you, we know what a thrill it is and how important you are to our community and our province and this whole country. All the best. Hello, bonjour. Je me présente Stéphanie Richard, président de l'Association des centres de familiales du New Brunswick. I present myself, Stéphanie Richard, président of the New Brunswick Family Research Center Association. Je tiens à féliciter Talk With Me et Parle-moi d'avoir reçu le prix Bien mérité pour l'alphabétisation de la petite enfance. I'd like to congratulate Talk With Me and Paula Moi in receiving their well-deserved award for early childhood literacy. Vous êtes un partenaire extraordinaire. Nous aimons travailler avec vous, tous pour promouvoir le langage précoce chez les jeunes enfants au niveau Brunswick. You're an amazing partner. We love working with all of you to promote early language for young children in New Brunswick. Vous jouez un rôle important dans la vie des enfants. Nous profitons tous de vous. You have played an important role in children's life. We all benefit from you. Compilation, Fistation, again. Good golly! What? Oh, gee! What? Our friends? Who? Oh, I can't believe it! This is great news! What? What? Well, the Dr. Marilyn Trenchwell Council Literacy Award yes. was awarded to... Who? Who? Talk with me! Yay! That's great news! Yeah. We've worked with them so many times. I'm so happy for them. Way to go! Hi, everyone. I'm Tara Otterbert, and I'm the illustrator behind uh, Moonbeam. I just want to say a big congratulations to my Aunt Gail Francis for winning this award. Uh, very well deserved. It's been a long, hard road to get to this point, and I am very, very happy and excited that you're getting these awards and getting the uh, recognition that you deserve. Congratulations! And I hope there's more awards to come. Good evening. <clears throat> My name is Ivan Augustine. I'm the Director of Education for LZ Book Two First Nation. I also sit on the executive of the uh, Three Nations uh, Education Group Incorporated. I'd like to congratulate Gail Francis on receiving the Dr. Marilyn Tremholm Council Award for outstanding efforts in Indigenous uh, literacy. We are proud of her accomplishments. Uh, her recent book, uh, Moonbeam is a great contribution to our community. Our children are craving for stories about our cultures, our people, and our languages. Uh, Gail, you are a very deserving recipient of this award. Congratulations to you and to all of the award winners uh, this evening. Thank you very much. From all of us here at Riverview High School, Ehrman, we want to say congratulations. Thank you for all you do for us Royals. Here at Riverview High School, when we celebrate, we give a double clap. Hi! Hi! This is Elisa Guerra. And I'm Ana Rogo. And we are coming to you all the way from Aguascalientes, Mexico. Mexico. Because we wanted to be a part of this celebration and to congratulate you, Armand! Yay! <laughs> we are so happy and so proud of you and um, we want to thank the uh, Literacy Commission Coalition of uh, New Brunswick for this award of which we feel like we are a tiny little part of it. So I am the co-author and I am the illustrator of the book <laughs> and we had so much fun working together the three of us for this book. Armand it was a pleasure working with you most of the time no I'm kidding <laughs> it really all was. the time it really was it really was yes and um, I'm sure that you are aware of this but here's the book <laughs> here's the book of course and do you recognize this landmark right here I'm sure you do. <laughs> so there's a story. 
this this um, image this illustration was almost done it was done it was done yeah and it was one of the hardest ones <laughs> and so what happened and then Armand asked for a tiny favor <laughs> and said if we could include a, a local landmark over uh, here over here yeah <laughs> and do and you remember how, how he convinced us you to do that he said it would it would make his mom very happy so of course i couldn't say no i hope it made you very happy mom <laughs> i really do it make you happy and we had the aztec pyramid so it was only fair yeah it, it was, was only fair, fair to have your own <laughs> landmark there so uh we wish we were there but in a way we are there so again congratulations we can't wait for the next project have fun <laughs> Bye. Oh, wow. Uh, I, that was just wonderful, wasn't it, to hear from everyone? And uh, I'm missing that uh, the applause that we can't applaud uh, throughout this uh, because every one of you and, uh, and all of our, our people here tonight deserve a big round of applause. I um, also miss that I can't see everyone. And while I'm speaking, I, I only see, anyway, I'm not seeing everyone. And I know that we have approximately 90 people on this call. It's just amazing. So let's give it a try. Uh, we're going to, uh, everyone is going to turn on their video if you feel you have a strong enough internet. And uh, then we're going to take a screenshot and we'll have closing remarks from our president, Brent Melanson. So, uh, ready? Let's go. Cameras are coming on. I think Peter's going to take the shot. So Peter, give us a a high five when when you've got us. Good, Linda. Thanks, everybody. Great. And now over to Brent for closing remarks. Uh, thank you, Linda. Um, first of all, please please join me in congratulating our award recipients for the 2020. Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council Literacy Awards. And uh, I, my notes say that I'm supposed to wait for the applause. And uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. I've done a lot of Zoom meetings, but I, and I see some people applaud, applauding. So, so actually, let's try this. We, we have 90 people here uh, on the count of three. Let's have everyone applaud. One, two, three. Well done. <laughs> Another first for, for a Zoom meeting. Um, I, I'd like to mention that these awards are supported by funds generated by our annual Peter Zosky Gala Literacy Dinner and Auction. And uh, we do thank them. Um, Bob's very much been uh, part of that. And uh, uh, the money that we raise have raised over the years, and, and you heard it's well over a million dollars, uh, goes towards different literacy programs. And, uh, and uh, Bob, I, I'd like to thank you for your participation in that. And uh, I'd like to, uh, again, thank the PGI uh, for helping to uh, fund these awards here tonight. Um, I'd like to thank Linda uh, for organizing these awards. Uh, for hosting them. Uh, you've done a fantastic job. Um, these are challenging times that we're, uh, we're in the middle of the pandemic, but uh, within our organization, thanks to Linda, uh, you really wouldn't know uh, <laughs> that there is a pandemic. Uh, she has kept all the programs going, uh, including these awards and, uh, and uh, has able to, to you know, adapt the technology where necessary and to make the necessary changes. And Linda, thank you so much for that. Minister Cardi, 
Thank you once again for taking the time to join us and bring greetings on behalf of your uh, province. Um, I know since you've joined uh, government, you've attended uh, all of our uh, award ceremonies. And I know from having heard you speak at every one of those, you have uh, not only an interest, but a passion in literacy. And uh, we, we, we appreciate your comments and we appreciate the support of you and the government with respect to literacy in, the, in, in New Brunswick. And Minister, as you said before, it's not, there's no one organization. It's not just the government. Uh, it, takes a, it takes a partnership or as we should say, a coalition of many interests in order to further uh, literacy in the province. So again, thank you so much for being uh, participating here tonight. A special thank you, of course, to Dr. Marilyn Trenholm Council for her remarks tonight and for her ongoing support for literacy. And as we all know, um, tonight would not be possible tonight and uh, these awards would not be here, but for Marilyn's work in originating and furthering uh, the, uh, the, the cause of literacy and developing these awards for the recognition. And I must say that every year when I participate in these awards in a very small way, I am forever struck by the the talent and the, the commitment within this province by so many people towards the goal of literacy. And so I would like to thank each and one, uh, all of you for, for your role. This evening, we have had the opportunity to recognize the contributions of several exceptional New Brunswick programs and dedicated individuals and we have celebrated the importance of literacy, support, and learning in our lives. Thank you to everyone for coming to celebrate with us. I hope you have enjoyed the ceremony and I look forward to seeing you all next year, not in a Zoom meeting, but in person. So thanks again, good night.